you ever seen one of those five minute craft videos where they give you these awesome hacks that are supposed to be easy? Well today, I'm putting those hacks to the test to see if I can really create a high-end looking photo shoot on a budget. What? <laughs> what am I doing right now? You guys, I am actually so shook. What's up guys? It's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it. And you might be getting more Friday videos now that we are in quarantine. But today we are going to be testing five minute craft hacks on how to take these photo shoot pictures, but the catch is it's all fake. So if you wanna see me test out these ridiculous hacks, then keep on watching. But before we dive in, this week's Instagram teacup shout out goes to Inspired Art. Her name is Bella. Thank you so much, Bella, for following me and being active on my Instagram. I always see Bella in the comments and she always has something nice to say and I just really appreciate you girl, thank you. So let's figure out if these fake photo hacks work. So like I said before, I'm pretty sure all of us have seen those five minute craft videos. I mean, if you're on YouTube, you can't escape them. Pretty much everyone that has a YouTube account has been subjected to the five minute craft wave. When you're watching the video, they seem like a great idea. Like how have I never tried this out before? Until you actually try it for yourself and people realize like this is all fake. No one would ever even consider trying these things in real life but I'm going to. I recently came across a five minute crafts video where they displayed hacks on how to create a realistic looking photo shoot at home. And when I saw this, I figured why not try this for ourselves? And I can't lie to you, I'm secretly hoping that all of these hacks are gonna fail. <laughs> these hacks are unrealistic. Half of them don't make any sense, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. So here is photo shoot hack number one. They cut up a cardboard box and they tape it to the ceiling to create an interesting downward facing angle on yourself and you set it up with a timer. So let's give it a try. I mean, I actually am going to admit I've seen this hack before and I've tried it before. I'm pretty sure it worked. If I remember correctly, the lighting was a problem because you don't have a direct light from the ceiling. I don't know, but we're gonna try it again. I didn't have a cardboard box. All I had was a Ritz cracker box. So that's what I'm using today. And I figured it would be the perfect size because if you look at it, a phone will just slide right in there. This actually ended up working really well. It's like the perfect design for like a phone hanger. I really want this one to work because I know that if this photo turns out like I think it will, it'll actually match my Instagram aesthetic. <laughs> Imagine you're just like in your room doing a photo hack and like your mom walks in. I mean, what are you gonna say when she sees you taping a Ritz cracker box to your ceiling? If I was in that situation, I don't know what I would say. It sounds like a good idea until you attempt it and you just end up looking, you know, mentally unstable. Wait, is it supposed to be floppy? Well, I think it'll still work. All right, now the hack says that you're supposed to put your phone on a timer and then lay down on your bed. You guys know, if you've seen any of my other photo shoot videos that I use my remote. This is not sponsored, but I will leave it down below. A Bluetooth remote that if you take pictures by yourself, you can just click it and it'll take it. So this is just a lot easier. Like I said, not sponsored. They're not paying me to tell you this. It just actually changed my life. I just can't help but have these moments where I like ask myself, what am I doing right now? Like, is this what the world has come to where we're in our bedrooms using cardboard to take photos of ourselves to feel like we fit in with the world? All right, that one is done. Let's see how they look. You guys, I am actually so shook at how beautiful this photo turned out. It looks like I'm underwater. It has this awesome flowy effect. How is it that this worked? I'm so confused. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, who knew five minute crafts could actually provide useful hacks? <laughs> Moving on to photo hack number two. For this one, it looks like they take a little drop of water and they put it on the lens of your iPhone. And this creates like a zoomed in effect. And you're able to take photos of things that you wouldn't normally be able to see with a regular iPhone lens. Let's go ahead and put this one to the test. 
a drop of water on the camera lens of your iPhone is supposed to act like a sort of microscopic lens. Like it's supposed to be like zoomed up really close. So I'm gonna take a drop of water and put it on the lens and see if I can take a photo of my eyeball really close up, just like the five minute crafts video. Do you think it's gonna work? I think you might have to grab like a syringe or something to put the drop Right, on. like they just did it with their finger. Like they made it look really easy. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did anyone else do shots out of like a bottle cap as a kid? So let's take a drop of water. I'm gonna put a little drop of water on there. That was really weird. I feel like I just did something inappropriate. <laughs> No amount of editing can save that. All right, let's try it again. Once again, imagine someone walking in on this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one's way better. This is so cool. Wait, stop. Look at that, guys. Look at that picture. Guys, I am not even kidding. When I say I'm surprised, I'm shocked, I am bamboozled. How are these photos turning out so well? Let me know down in the comments what you think of hack number two, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to number three. Now this one is a little more questionable. As you can see, they put this glass container full of ice and they let it melt a little bit and they put it over their face and it gives this cool icy glass effect. Kind of looks like you're stuck in a fish tank. I'm really interested to see if this one will work out. It seems kind of risky holding glass and ice over your face, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Right now I'm cleaning out this glass, what do you call this? What do you call this? It's a Pyrex. A Pyrex? I'm cleaning out a glass Pyrex because we're gonna put ice in it. It's supposed to look really cool and we're gonna try it. We'll see if it works. This is one that I'm starting to have major doubts about. Not because I don't think it's a good idea, but because it's gonna have the word Pyrex on top of my face. So we're gonna try to avoid that. Is there a, like a on the side of it you can do it? Yeah, I'm gonna try and do it on the side. Hopefully that will work, but it looks like it's fogging up just because it's like condensating from the ice. This one, yeah, this is gonna be the most challenging one. Okay, this is scary, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm gonna dump it on myself. Wait. <laughs> Can you even see my face? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait, is that cool? Does that, does that look legit? Looks like there's ice cubes. <laughs> You're tipping it. Oh my God. Keep it level. Okay, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, it took some effort. I had to do a little Photoshop. We added some ice down in the corner. I'm not angry at this photo. I love how the water is reflecting off of my face. It looks like little freckle reflections. I am pleasantly surprised. This is a lot cooler than I originally predicted. Moving on to hack number four. I've definitely seen this one before where a girl takes a lace sleeve or a lace piece of fabric and puts it over her face and it creates this really cool lighting effect that looks like a veil. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna look in real life. I feel like it could just look like you got your head in a sleeve, but we're gonna test it out and see. Okay, so for this hack, we need to be in direct sunlight. That is why I look scary right now. I don't have a lace sleeve laying around, but I do have this lace top from Shein. I'm just gonna throw this over my face and take some photos and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. My neighbors are gonna think I'm crazy. Oh, it's actually really nice in here. Nice and shaded. Wait, wait bring it in here. How do I look? Yeah, you look like uh, one of the prairie girls. <laughs> Life okay. on the prairie. Oh, there's like a tag under my chin. How do I look right now? <laughs> my neighbors are out right now. They are watching this. Okay, I'm done trying this. Holy shit. 
guys. Stunning, beautiful, original. It's actually good. I'm starting to think that the only thing five minute crafts is good for are photo shoot hacks because this turned out amazing. It looks like I'm wearing this lace veil and I'm like exotic or something. I don't know. It's definitely unique. I don't see very many people post photos like this on the gram, but let's move on to photo hack number five. In this one, they use the classic kiddie pool to create a sunken, flowery, water princess effect that I really like and I think it's kind of trendy right now. Let's put it to the test. So the next photo hack is this mini kiddie pool photo shoot thing where it looks like you're in water and you have plants. I don't know. This one actually reminds me of my story time. I don't know if you guys remember it. The photo shoot that hospitalized me when they made me get into a kiddie pool full of like ice cold water and I got hypothermia. Ah! Check out that story time if you haven't seen it yet. I don't have a kiddie pool. I have a bathtub. <laughs> and we're gonna get in it. I also purchased some flowers from Target. All they had were tulips. I wanted roses, but because it's like Easter time, this is all they had. So this is what we're using. So we're gonna try it and see if it really works. I mean, it's gonna be hella awkward because look at that. Look at that bathtub. This is what I have to work with. I am 5'10". Let's do this. I hope I don't accidentally knock the light in and like electrocute myself. I should just pose with this. Okay, so I'm gonna take these flowers and try and like place them around my face. It is cramped in here. I think I wanna have maybe like a couple of them on my chest. How is this looking? Is it looking good? Yeah. It's looking pretty. <laughs> Yeah, it does. By the way, I know some of you guys are gonna ask, this swimsuit is from Shein. I will link it down below. This is not Spons. Do I look like an Easter, an Easter Sunday? Ah! Okay, take it, take it. This photo is by far my absolute favorite photo I've probably ever taken in my life. And it was shot in my bathtub. Five minute crafts, I underestimated you. I know I talked a big game. I'm sorry, please accept my apology. In conclusion, all of these fake photo hacks work. They all turned out beautiful. Even if some of them were a little more difficult than others, I 10 out of 10 would recommend every single one of them. And I wanna see you guys try them out for yourself. If you guys wanna take a look at the photos, again, they are all on my Instagram, you can see them there. And if you end up trying these hacks out for yourself, tag me in them on Instagram because I wanna see if they end up working out for you like they did for me. I am just still blown away. Let me know what you thought of these photo hacks or what you think of five minute crafts in general, if you think they're realistic or not, and comment which photo was your favorite. I'm curious, one through five. Mine was probably number one and number five, but let me know down below. I will also leave a playlist right here of all of my photo shoot challenge videos if you would like to entertain yourself for hours. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone that's actually subscribed. I really appreciate it. Hitting that button, it helps me out a lot, okay? But I love you. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. But most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye. Mwah.